Let's talk about the power of collaboration to make great things happen here in our beautiful state of Michigan. I am sitting here with Marshall Bullock, former Michigan State Senator. We are at the first annual golf outing for Michigan Speaker of the House, Joe Tate, at the beautiful Plum Hollow Country Club. We are here with hundreds of people and talking about the power of collaboration to make positive things happen. Can you tell us what you're doing to make that happen? Well, right now I'm the Director of Government Affairs for the City of Detroit and Mayor Duggan uh, administration. And my time in the State Senate, uh, collaboration meant everything. Uh, I was in the minority, and so working across the aisle was almost a must if you wanted to be effective in any way to get any kind of bills passed. And I have five public acts to my name Wonderful. that I directly sponsored and then a bunch of things I co-sponsored mm -hmm. or helped facilitate. I was also the chair of the Michigan Legislative Black Caucus. And so working with uh, creating coalitions, Republicans, Democrats, Northern Michigan, Southern Michigan, the UP, you have to make everybody understand that we all have the same issues, but we just prioritize them different. Mm -hmm. And so once you understand where they prioritize that issue, then you make it important to them of why we need to make some adjustments and change. Yes, beautiful. So we live in such divisive times. What is your message to help people see beyond the red and blue to come together for the positive collective power to help everybody? Well, what I did mostly was just make everything a human issue, right? And so. It doesn't make it red or black. Uh, it could be anything. Uh, sickle cell was an issue that we had in the Michigan Legislative Black Caucus, something we were champion. But then I went to uh, some of our colleagues where sickle cell, they were affected by people who had sickle cell or a family member had sickle cell. Mm -hmm. And show, they understood the importance, so they helped collaborate mm -hmm. to get the plate uh, you know, uh, assigned to Michigan. So mm -hmm. those type of things. I think if you can break it down and make it a human issue, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we all bleed this red. Yes. We uh, we all get cancer. We all get different things. Uh, you know, all of us want our kids to learn in the schools. Mm -hmm. So if you're talking to a guy from the west side of the state and their kids aren't succeeding, and the system is failing them, you have a, a mutual understanding of how we need to fix the education system. So you work on those things. I mean, you could list 10, 20, 30 things, and I'm sure on everybody's list, there are some commonalities, and you find those common interests, and you work on those first. Those should be easy lift. Then you'll have some things that require a little more work, and then there's gonna be some very hard things, and most, some of those may or may not get fixed but you can still work on them. And then if you go all or nothing, you usually wind up with nothing. Oh, okay, so listen, we're at a golf outing. It's a gorgeous summer day. People are having fun. How does this help people collaborate? This is where relationships get built. And a lot of these collaborations and relationships get built by just meeting people outside of the political chamber. So now you're meeting a guy, you're sitting next to him, eating a burger, you, you're talking sports or you're talking about a car you just bought, they bought the same car, now there's some re a relationship is being built or they're in your foursome and you're talking and laughing and joking uh, and it takes some of that anger and tension and preconceived notions out of the way. And so now when we're talking up in Lansing or talking about an issue, they go, oh yeah, yeah, no, that guy's pretty nice. That guy's, he's not, you know, not as bad as I thought he was or seen and those things go millions and millions of miles mm -hmm. in the process mm -hmm. to making things happen. Beautiful. Beautifully said, former Michigan State Senator Marshall Bullock. You are an amazing inspiration to all of us. Can you tell us your current position one more time? I am the Director yes. of Government Affairs for the City of Detroit. Beautiful. Yet another place where you can make positive power, well, powerful head. <laughs> I love it, love it. Thank you for gracing us with your presence and your wisdom today. I'm Elizabeth Ann Atkins with Two Sisters Writing and Publishing. Thrilled and honored to interview people like this wonderful man here. So stay tuned because there's more to come. We are here at the Plum Hollow Golf Country Club and we are with the Michigan Speaker of the House, Joe Tate, at his first annual golf outing. So thank you for joining us, and I hope you can get something that inspires and informs you today out of this. So thank you very much, Marshall, for joining me today. Thank you for having me.
You're welcome. I hope you win some prizes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, happy golfing, and thank you to all of you.